Yeah, the camera's not even there, you know? You're just too sexy for that damn camera. Yeah! What's going on, everyone? This is Tayman Gaming, and if you haven't noticed by the title, the Revenant Armor Shader is finally, finally in my grasp. Yeah! It's the Black Armor Shader. I think there's actually another one, but yeah, I'm excited. Finally got it. Just wanted to make a video, let you guys see what it looks like on a lot of different armors and give you an idea on how to get it. There's been rumors that you can get it from uh, Dead Orbit from anywhere after rank 3. It's random, but I got it at rank 10. So that's my own experience. I don't know about the rest of you guys. I think there's a few people out there that did not get it at rank 10 and it was still random, but I finally got it. So you want to keep on trying if you really, really want it as bad as I did. But I'm going to go ahead and put on a bunch of different armors. Let you guys check it out. I was hoping that it would actually be a little bit more black. But, um, you know, the designers, I guess they want to make sure you can see all the different details. But, oh, look at that. Look how it looks with the chest armor. Iron regalia. The iron banner chest armor. Looks fantastic. Unfortunately, that chest piece is light 27. Yeah, so I never wear it. Hopefully, we'll get an update sometime soon. But it looks absolutely amazing. A uh, bunch of different boots that I could put on. Leg armor. A little shiny there with some blue, but that's okay. We're going to make it work. We're going to make it work, baby. Make it do what it do. <laughs> so, so many different, different things you could check out, especially with the, um, if you notice, like with these particular pants, you have like a camo pattern for that inner warrior spirit. That particular cape looks the same, but oh man, look at this vault of glass cloak. Fantastic black and gold with a little bit of a pattern in the back awesome you know having just having a little destiny fashion show why not why not because I can you know what I'm saying because I can you know there's just so much stuff you can really mix and match which is cool it would be nice if you could um keep the certain style without having that particular armor piece on like DCUO that'd be great but hey it is what it is you can't do it I wanted to definitely show you guys uh, some of the different exotic head pieces looks great with the uh, mask of the third eye you know knucklehead radar yeah, pretty standard arachnid awesome and uh, Acleophage symbiote actually looks decent. <laughs> I guess because it's so dark you can mask some of the imperfections of it, but I love it. I love it. In this particular uh man, Ahamkara spine looks good. I wish it wasn't such a useless Well, some people disagree, you can use it for your trip mines, but eh. There's so many other better exotics in my opinion. And yeah, this color still doesn't change for those don't touch me gauntlets, but hey, those are helpful as hell. Whether you're doing a Crota's End raid or whatever, you just get hit when not expected, it can help keep you alive, definitely. And you don't have to be a blade dancer to take advantage of that. So, But yeah, if you guys are still hanging around, I'm going to show you... The Warlock and the Titan. Just give you an idea of what that stuff looks like from both of those guys as well. There's a lot of updates to Destiny I'm pretty excited about. Uh, a lot of changes coming. <laughs> we already knew that Bungie was going to be fixing the, a lot of the stuff with Crota's End Raid, but eh, when I look at it, it, it can take a lot of effort and time to fix these raids so quickly but where's 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 the content you know I guess unless you're buying DLCs and forget it you know, we should still have some more content but anyway I'm not gonna harp on that let's just get back to the the task at hand 
love a chest piece with this this particular shader man looks great and i was kind of concerned about this particular one like the starfire protocol it always has a little blue shade on it no matter what well you know sometimes you change it up it still has that blue on there which is i mean it looks good but you know i got a black and white shader what's what's the deal what's going on bungie what's up what, what's up with that but it looks really good with the um the new raid gear that headpiece looks great too bad it's you know regular stuff regular bs you know what i'm saying but yeah, you might be wondering, what the hell? Why does he have the starter um, Titan piece on? Whatever you want to call it. A little sash, a little dress looking crap. Just, just because I don't like wearing a little dress looking crap for the Titan. Like, come on, man. I'm not trying to put a skirt on. It's supposed to be the toughest uh, guardian out there. He looks like he's wearing a damn skirt. What the, what the you know, what the hell? So I kept that just so I could, you know. But then he looks kind of naked, like a damn Ken doll if you wear the other one. So I don't know, whatever. Definitely love that helmet from Vault of Glass. One of my favorite ones. Those freaking gauntlets. Amazing. Love the way it looks. Walk around looking like a police officer or some crap with those uh, with that chest piece on <laughs> but the Queen's Guard man bet you guys forgot about that <laughs> yeah boy that looks great so anyway like I said got a lot of videos coming up man it's, it's just so much stuff going on with Destiny a lot of stuff I want to get out still got some love for it uh, Bloodborne is coming up soon know you guys excited about that i am yeah boy so i gotta try to <laughs> gotta try to balance out the time so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video